Good morning, my fine feathered friends. And all you humans watching too. The box. Did you watch yesterday's video? We're hooking up to this van. It's actually not as close as I thought it was. <laughs> From the angle I was at over there, made it look like these trailers were a lot closer together than they actually are. It has an ATV in here. I'm gonna bring it into Winnipeg. We're locked in, and we are. That's good. That's good. Okay, locked in. Turn the gear up. I'm gonna hook up the lights and the air. Yeah. You want to know what I could use right now? an energy drink but I don't want to buy one because <laughs> I'm cheap I'm trying to save money so I'll just have to go without it not good for me anyways right weasel is here with us today diesel how you doing are you very fine thank you for asking I'm gonna just put air into my trailer and then we're gonna go and Check all our lights. Okay, I'm gonna turn them on over here. I'm gonna uh, hook up my uh, official brake tester, brake light tester thingy. Hook that on there. Hook this onto my fire extinguisher there, cause I'm that fancy. Diesel, I'll be right back with you. Okay, I'll be right with you. You're good, eh? You're good. Here, right, we can start this up now. Get some AC cranked in here, man. Here you go. Okay, lights working. All the way to the back here. Signals, lights, working. Oh, what was that? Scared me. I don't know why, but that thing flapping around as I walk past it, for some reason I thought it was a cat jumping out at me. Don't ask me why. My brain works in mysterious ways. Okay, I can hear the suspension filling up already. It's gonna go clang right away. You wanna hear it? Where is it? Should be going flying right away. Usually does it as it adjusts and lifts up. Can you hear the air filling up? It's a good sign. Okay. It's a little bit windy back here. ABS light is off. Parker light is on. All right. Oh, a different kind of signals on this side than on this side. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It's not symmetrical. It is not symmetrical. License plate light is working. Let's see what we got in here. What we got here? Oh, this is one of these Argos. These are really cool. It's eight by eight. You know, it's a four by four, but this is an eight by eight. These things can float on the water. So you can drive them on land, and you can drive right onto the water. They're amphibious vehicles. The coolest thing ever. Okay. Oh, and it's got like a handlebars like a motorcycle for some reason. <laughs> I love these things. Hey there, bud. How you liking your bed? Is it working out for you? Working out, you want to come down, don't you? Yeah, you want to come down? One second, one second, buddy. I gotta put your leash on first. One second. Oh, I can, here we go.
pissing on these weights. I buy you, uh, what is that, five steps and you only use two every time. All right, man, you give her. I'm gonna try to stay out of the wind here. He's gotta do his thing. So I think I explained it to you last time, right? During business hours here, uh, with trucks moving around the yard and everything, they ask that we always have our dogs on a leash. Just in case, you know, just to keep them out of, uh, out of harm's way in case you don't want any dog getting run over. Everybody here is, or most people here, they're big dog lovers and everyone would hate to see an accident involving a dog. It would, uh, it would definitely ruin everybody's day and uh, it'd be a big issue. So during business hours, uh, we're gonna keep them on a leash here. I mean, I've been here in the middle of the night before, at like three in the morning. And this is a, an entire, the, the whole compound is fenced in, right? So I can let diesel rip around then, but uh, not during, not during the day. Even me, you know, I, I don't know what I'd do if anything were to ever happen to him that I could have prevented. Like if he gets hit by a truck or something and because I didn't have him on a leash, I don't know if I could live with myself. So just to be safe, it's a long lead too. It's like a uh, eight meter eight meter lead look how long this thing is it's like half the length of these trailers probably what 30 feet 25 feet and it uh, doesn't have a very strong recoil on it so he doesn't even notice it that much all right man let's hit the road someone out there is waiting for their fancy atv it's a little steep i know come on up up Come on up. You can do it. There you go. There you go. Good boy. Okay, if you're wondering where I got these, it's called Pet Loader. I get asked this a lot. Uh, you can find them on Amazon. Just Google or look up Pet Loader on Amazon. Make sure you get the right size because there's many different sizes. All right, man. Ooh, it's chilly in here. Yikes. Got the AC crank, don't we? Oh, he's a good boy. Who's a good boy? Who? I don't know. We did meet. It's you. Is you? Good boy. Okay, we got stuff to do, man. Let's get going. Let's make sure this trailer's not gonna fall off. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Good idea. Yeah, laying down is a good idea for this. Just gonna pull forward. There we go. Make sure that that trailer is hooked on, that the brakes work, and that they release. Right on. Giggity. Let's go. Well, just got my assignment for tomorrow on my computer here. Looks like we're going to Kenora first thing in the morning. We're gonna pick up some of those uh, culverts again, bring them on down to Vankler and Yonzi. That'll be a good day for you to come with again, Deezy. You wanna come to Kenora tomorrow? Wanna go see Ontario? Oh, I know, I'm excited too. If you think about it, I'm kind of like Santa Claus. I'm a little fat, and I'm bringing someone their toys. There's, it's just not Christmas yet. It's an early Christmas present. I'm sure this thing's probably already been sold. From what I've heard from the uh, the motorsports dealers that I go to, everything's sold before it even hits the showroom floor. They can't stock themselves fast enough. Since everybody can't travel internationally like they used to, like the people who could afford to travel internationally now are using their traveling money for fun stuff around here, like side-by-sides and snowmobiles and dirt bikes. So they've been buying them up like crazy. Same thing with campers and RVs. All right, man. You did so good today. You did so good. You ready to go home though? Yeah, that's the best part. We can go trucking for the day, and we can go at home. Go home and sleep in our own bed. 
What do you think? Is it a good idea? You want to go see Chevy? Yeah, you miss Chevy? Wiener and Frank? Britt's going to be working this evening. Yeah, she won't be there, but i got a couple of errands to run tonight yet and got to get a few things done and then it's back to bed. we got to be here early tomorrow morning. We're going to Kenora again. I told you this already, right? We're picking up some culverts there and we're bringing them all the way out to Winkler, Manitoba. we got to get this all done in one day. It's quite a big round trip, so we got to get going from here relatively early. All these mounts. Because this uh, case around this GoPro is attached now. It's all one piece. Mounting it is just a little bit different than my old ones. So changing mounts is just a little different. Sometimes I forget. And remember, we don't want to forget anything. I want a good sleep tonight, though. I really do. I've been going to bed a little bit later than uh, I'd like to recently. I'm just going to make sure my interior lights are off in my truck here. They've been sticking lately and staying on. Okay, good. Off. I don't want my battery to be dead first thing in the morning. That'll ruin the morning. Let's check my taillights, make sure my park lights are off too. Good, good. Okay, we haven't forgotten anything. Let's go home before we forget anything else. Oh, got my shades. Oh, oh, I remembered to leave my truck shades in the truck and the pickup shades in the pickup. I'm getting better getting better but yeah I'd like to get a I need to get my eight hours every night or any of you like this as well if I don't get my eight hours of sleep I just it's hard for me to function but if I can get my eight hours possibly ten if I can oh man I'm just it's vibrating with energy the whole day start to finish You. Yeah, my. You. I saw you staring at me. I saw you. You see, I was right over there. I know you were. I was looking straight at you. I know you were there. What's wrong with you? What's the good word, Commander? They want to know. I want to know. We all want to know. What comes next? What comes next? What comes next is I'm going to bite your face if you don't get out of my face. That's what comes next. See these teeth? You see them? I have like three left. Don't underestimate them. They are dangerous weapons. I shake with fear. <laughs> he's a good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. You know... Ever since he got down here, he's been doing all right. Managing the whole fleet from right here. All I gotta do is pet his head, and you're his best friend. Just don't touch his, don't touch his growth, because then he'll hate you. So it's a, it's a very fine line. So yeah, we're back at home. Thanks for watching today. It was part two of uh, of the day. Uh, we didn't get any filming in on Monday. I was sort of off. Well, I did get some filming in, but I figured that the day didn't really, it didn't really flow very well. It wasn't enough footage, so I, I went overboard today and filmed too much. So it sort of made up for that. We turned it into two vlogs. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It's, it's great to be able to have Diesel with me some days. It really sort of makes the time go by faster for me. And he's like a, a stress relief or a, he's almost like a service animal. He takes away all the anxiety, you know, if you're having a, if you struggle with anxiety a little bit, I, I don't usually, but sometimes, you know, I, I have this anxiety problem, always worried about stuff, but if Diesel's there, all you gotta do, like I've, I've told you before, you just like put your hand on him like this, like this guy has the same effect, they all do, most dogs do, you just put your hand on him like that and it just sucks all the anxiety right out of you and you just feel better, right? And then they go outside and they, they poop it out outside. So they take it all from you and it goes right back into the ground where it belongs. Right? That's the whole purpose of dogs on this planet, isn't it? So there's the wiener. There's the Chevy. There's the commander. Where's the weasel? Is there a weasel back there? 
Diesel? You're not Diesel. D Diesel? There he is. Taking a break, man. I had a hard day at work. Hard day, man. Thanks for being there with me, Diesel. You did great. He can't come with me every day. Oh, well, he could, but I think it's it's fair to leave him at home some days, especially when Britt's going to be home most of the day. He can be here with his family, with his brothers, and he'll run around in the yard and get his exercise in uh, every now and then. It's nice to have him there with me, too. So thanks for watching today, everybody. Let me know down below what you'd like to see more of in my videos. Uh, sometimes... Uh, I need some help coming up with ideas. I'd love to know what you would like to know, what you'd like to see. Let me know down below in the comment section there, and I'll see what I can do. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. There'll be a new vlog up in the evening. Usually I upload around, or I release it around 4.30 to 5 p.m. I found that that's when the majority of you are online. That's in central time. So usually by the time you get home from work, uh, there should be a vlog ready for you. And if not, you just bug me on Facebook or somewhere and say, hey, Trevor Josh, where's the video? And this is where I release it from right here. And that's where I play 18, uh, uh, not, not 18 Wheels of Steel. That's the old game. This is where I play American Truck Simulator. It's my, I need to get a better steering. It works. It works. It works. What? Don't judge me. Sometimes on the weekend, I didn't get enough trucking in on during the week. So I do more trucking on, on, on here. I have a problem.